Oh man, on today's episode of The Plug, we've got some meat on the bones today. We're going to be checking out what's new with the Model O, looking at the new Ascended cables, looking at their new packaging, as well as taking a look at some aftermarket top shelves that are on Group Buy right now from a company called Swift Shells. We're also going to be checking in with the guys at Space Cables and Spectrum Designs to find out what's new on the custom cable and paracord front. And no, we will not be talking about the Model D today. As soon as I'm able to reveal it, you'll be the first to know. You ready? Let's go! Yo, I'm Brian P. You're watching Bad C Tech, and on today's episode of The Plug, we're going to be checking in with the guys at Glorious PC Gaming Race to see what's new over there. We're also looking at some custom top shells from Swift Shells, as well as checking in with the guys from Spectrum Designs and Space Cables to see what's going on with them. We got a lot of stuff to cover today, so let's jump in. So the O and O minus hit a quality control snag recently when a batch of cables left people's mice failing to maintain connection. Some of you managed to paracord your own copies and probably did a better job than I did my first time out. This solves the problem, but due to the low front and the especially small shell of the O-, working around that scroll wheel proved to take a little more effort than your usual paracord job. If only companies were producing their own aftermarket cables and a few decent colors with the stock stress relief still attached, wouldn't that be glorious? Well, here you go. For $19.99, you can order an Ascended cable directly from Glorious PC Gaming Race. It's a completely new design and not content to just make basic black. They have seven other solid colors also available and they retain all the features of the stock cable. So we've got original black, arctic white, cobalt blue, gremlin green, purple rain, majin pink, glorious gold, and crimson red. Inside each pack, you'll not only find your cable, but also an extra set of G-skates, so you don't have to worry about keeping the old ones intact. And no, installing this cable on either mouse will not void the warranty. They also have a really easy tutorial video online. This is now the flat out easiest cable replacement out there. It literally is popping off the old feet. Don't worry about using heat. You're gonna replace the skates anyway. Unscrew the rear, being very careful of the RGB strips as you separate the shell. Unplug the old cable, remove it, plug the new one back in, route it between the pegs, close it up, and you're back in business. Installation here seriously took me about five minutes. The only remotely challenging part of this at all is unplugging the existing mouse cable. It has a tendency to really be in there. So just go really slow, very patient, work each side up a little at a time until it breaks free. The cables themselves are great. Big thumbs up for me, as I wasn't really a fan of the original cables, really loose, floppy aesthetic. This is thin, really soft weave, really flexible. The kinks, like from where it comes coiled out, work out pretty fast as well. Using the stock stress relief here just takes this to a whole new level. As far as how it stacks up, it's neck and neck with some of the best cables out there, which for me belong to G-Wolves and the Cooler Master MM710. It's a lot thinner than both. I think it's as good or better than the G-Wolves. I still have to give the flexibility to the MM710 by the tiniest of margins, but that thin aesthetic on the glorious edges it into the top spot for me overall. Now, because there's been some concern about the original packaging causing the cable to be kinked for a large amount of time when it's stored, Glorious has listened and they're back with an all new packaging layout as well. When you remove the top here, you'll find the mouse and the cable are situated in such a way that the cable exits the mouse laying flat. So this should definitely help cut down on the issues they've been having. At the time of this video, all flavors of the Model O are back in stock and shipping with the new Ascended cable pre-installed in black as well as the new packaging. Other color options will need to be ordered as an aftermarket accessory. The O- will also be receiving a similar treatment soon, but the current stock is still the older setup. If you currently own an O or an O- that's acting up, just reach out to customer service at Glorious. They have options to get you sorted. They just rolled out a new policy where if your mouse becomes defective inside of 180 days, that's six months. They will offer a replacement 100% free of charge. Outside of the six months, as long as it's still under warranty, they'll offer a replacement, but you will be on the hook for shipping. I mean, honestly, if that's not a good guy move, I don't know what is. I wanna to touch briefly on my relationship with Glorious. I do have a modest affiliate agreement with them, and while I really appreciate you guys using those links to purchase your mice, it does allow the channel to continue to grow content. It's not a life-changing amount of money. I choose to work with Glorious for two reasons, because they listen and they react. The Model O launch by any measure was a smash success for a relatively small company. That's great news for a company, but it comes with big challenges as well. Glorious has continued to expand their customer service department. They've continued to make modifications and improve the product 
and the packaging, and they've been more transparent about their W's and their L's than any other company out there. Okay, now, if you're feeling a little more adventurous under the hood, a company called Swift Shells has started producing colored aftermarket top shells for the Model O only. These are available in a variety of both solid colors at $21 and translucent colors at 22. These are made in Thailand, so shipping to the US will get you for $6.50 for a seven to 10 day delivery window. So we're talking about a product that costs nearly $30 for a $50 mouse. I was really on the fence with this. I wasn't sure whether or not I was even gonna cover this on the channel. I really like to see small businesses winning and these guys are the absolute nicest. So I dropped this pic on Twitter and Instagram the other day just to get a feel. Turns out enough people enjoyed the aesthetic enough to warrant me covering it, but it was about a 50-50 split. Twitter user the befuddled spork nailed it. This is exactly what I thought the first time I saw this mod complete. It's got like a Mad Cats, third party friend controller thing going on. To me, it cheapens the overall look of the mouse. Now, visual impressions aside, which are totally subjective, let's take a fair look at the facts about this product. These are in essence just a visual mod. They don't seem to affect the function of the mouse for me at all. I should point out that they do reduce the weight of the mouse by one gram. These aren't 3D printed. They are injected molded MBS plastic. They're slick to the touch. So the coating now becomes no coating and it's not matte or gloss. It's just slippery. They have visible markings around the hexagons and sort of like a grain to the plastic. The finish on the edges can be rough on a lot of the copies. In addition, there are inconsistencies in the product where you may need to further mod it by either clipping the center post or filing one side of the trigger assembly clips down to get them to install correctly. Install for this is a basic shell swap. I'll link my video on how to do that on the Model O if you haven't seen it. And I'll link to Swift Shells if you're a fan of the look and you have some money to blow. Swift Shells, I'm sorry. I really wanted to be behind this one, but the finish and the visual effect just doesn't justify the cost for me. All right, moving on. What seems like forever ago now, we were introduced to Spectrum Designs. Based in the US, they manufacture aftermarket paracords from mice. Now, I was lucky enough to get some of their very early stuff, and I provided some pretty constructive feedback. Recently, they sent me over a care package with a few examples of their new cables, and they have made a number of improvements. I mean, these are so nice. They've upgraded the USB plug and it's now available in black or clear. The actual wires inside are upgraded to PVC versus silicone coated. This allows for a thinner jacket and it has a higher strand count, so it makes these amazingly flexible. They even go so far as to make the heat shrink sections in specific lengths based on what mouse you repair according to make install as easy as possible. I'm super impressed with how far the quality has come. The color selection in the store has exploded too. I was honestly shocked at how many options are now available. The store basically opens every two weeks with 50 cables in stock. And when they're gone, he closes up shop until the next scheduled open. He does a really good job of communicating this via the website and Instagram and get hype because the store actually reopens in just a few days on Friday morning. Don't sleep. Really happy to say that I think Spectrum Designs has possibly the best quality paracords out there, easily going toe to toe with CESA cables. You can't save 15% on your order using code BADCTECH at checkout, and that's just for you guys. I don't get a kickback or anything from Spectrum on that. I just genuinely like to see people winning. And speaking of people winning, perhaps you've seen them on Instagram absolutely killing it lately, but Space Cables sent me over one of their newer designs, and again, a massive leap forward in quality from the original cable they sent me just a few months back. Look at that snap. Look at it. This thing is basically perfect. The heat shrink, the tech flex, the super clean color shift. This is it. This is exactly what you want to see when you order a custom coiled cable. The wait time is well worth it when you end up with something like this. The easiest way to know when they're going to open up shop for orders is to follow their Twitter or Instagram and keep the notifications on. They are very active and they go all out to keep people up to date on developments. If anyone's had an issue with space cables that wasn't resolved, that would be news to me. These guys are making quite a name for themselves right now and rightly so. They even had an interest check recently about getting free G Fuel included with every order. I don't know who needs to hear this, but G Fuel, if you're watching, let this happen. These cables are all handmade and they do take time. So keep an eye on their social feeds. The next drop will be happening in the next two weeks and you can use code BADSEEDTECH there as well to save 5% on your order. Again, no kickback from me. 
This is strictly for the culture. And I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next one. We've got some really interesting keycaps from a couple different manufacturers. Then we'll be taking a look at some new-ish stuff from Zowie. Shout out to Glorious PC Gaming Race, Swift Shells, Spectrum Designs, and Space Cables. I have to give a special shout out to the teams at Elgato and Corsair as well. They sent out one of their new multi-mount and flex arm kits, and that's how I finally managed to get some decent overhead footage. This thing is a complete game changer, and I can confidently hang a $3,000 camera rig off the end of it with no worries. Amazing. If you want to meet a couple dope content creators you may not be familiar with, I highly encourage you to go check out a guy named Alex Zotos. Hit his Instagram first. This dude's RGB photography makes mine look like I shot it on a Polaroid that was on fire. And go check out my dude Aaron Endicott, aka Big E. Awesome vlog content, currently grinding Modern Warfare, is getting into some peripheral reviews, and his channel is almost at 10K. Nobody wants to see these guys winning more than me, so please go show some love. And that's it for this time. I'm Brian P. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that sub button, and until next time, stay up. <laughs>